I put up a community post on my YouTube channel like two days ago. No, yesterday, as we're recording right now. And a lot of you guys answered that you guys wanted me to draw a strawberry shortcake. So here I am. And I'm drawing strawberry shortcake for you guys. Do you guys like my outfit? I try to pick out something a little themed to strawberry shortcake. And here are the cherries. This dress is perfect. You guys can't really see it all. But it has pockets. I love it so much. I also did my nails. They don't really match with my shirt, but it's fine. I'm really excited to start this video, so I think that's all for the talking part and the intro. Let's just start drawing. I've been wanting to record this video for such a long time now, and as of recording this voiceover, it's been like a week since I originally asked you guys what you want me to draw. So sorry about that, but here I am, and the first character I'm drawing is Lemon Meringue. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to record much of my sketching process because I really just needed to sit down on my bed, crunch up in the ball with my face in the paper because... I really wanted to make sure the foundation of my drawings were good before I did anything else. So yeah, speaking for the foundation of these characters, my plan wasn't originally to redesign the Strawberry Shortcake character, like, fan, like, not fan group, but like, girl group. Um, but I kind of ended up doing that. It's very similar to the original design. It's just slight differences to fit my drawings, I guess. Different things I felt like would look better. So I don't know if I would call this video a character design redraw of, like, Strawberry Shortcake characters or just making fan art of the characters anyway I, I don't really know but I didn't really record much of my sketching process just because I really just need to like crunch up in a ball sit down on my bed like not be at a table trying to make sure the lighting looks good and stuff like I really wanted to focus on the sketching of this illustration because today I'm drawing more than three characters like full body characters I'm drawing more than three full body characters for today's video so I really wanted to make sure I had the basic foundation strong that way whenever I color it I run into no problems I have so much I want to tell you guys but first I want to say here's the finished illustration not the finished illustration but like the finished sketch get like it's ready to ink and color i love these drawings so 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 freaking much i love them so much you know blueberry muffin lemon ring strawberry shortcake orange blossom and look there's me i do myself and then i forget that grape girl at the bottom um i forget her name but she did too you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> let me not forget my girl she there too don't worry but i just want to let y'all know that i'm mega super duper proud of myself right now because y'all see that strawberry shortcake is slowly starting to come up like i'm slowly starting to see it and i knew ever since like everybody started to draw all the my little pony fan art which i was about to hop on i was really about to hop on to that trend but I just knew Strawberry Shortcake was going to come around. Hope I know I'm like one of the first people to post a Strawberry Shortcake fan art video because I know it's going to blow up. I'm slowly starting to see it everywhere. And I had it written down in my sketchbook for months of something I wanted to do. Like maybe to start a trend. You know what I'm saying? Like they have so much merchandise. Like on Hot Topic, the purses, the bags, the clothes. Girl, stop playing with me. That might be my new obsession. Sorry that it sounds like I'm whispering. It's really late at the time that I'm recording this voiceover. And if I talk any louder, I might wake up my whole house. So in a few seconds, my voice is going to go back to normal. I'm going to sound a little louder. Probably when I start coloring and stuff. Okay, back to normal voice. Uh, I'm starting to color. I was trying to decide whether or not I should use alcohol markers or watercolor to color this illustration. But I did end up going with watercolor because I just really wanted to try it. And I felt a little, I don't know, I felt like I could do it. But trust, I did have to look up some tutorials and get all my supplies out, which took me forever. But I had to look up some tutorials on how to make watercolor skin tone. The watercolor palette I had didn't provide skin tones for me. like So I had to look up some tutorials of watercolor. And I found so many amazing artists who really helped me. And I think I did pretty well. <laughs> 
<clears throat> anyway, I'm starting to color in lemon meringue. She was the first one, so of course it's going to be a little bumpy in the beginning. I feel like the finished illustration of her turned out well, but her skin tone is just a tad bit darker than I would like. I think she still looks good, but I just feel like I kind of messed up on her skin tone a little bit. I feel like she should have been just a tad lighter. But to be honest, that's okay. I'm not really mad about it. I just know there's probably going to be someone to like point out that she's a bit darker, but whatever. It is what it is. And there's nothing I can do about it now. Along with sharing my process on how I colored and created these characters, I also want to share some background history of these Strawberry Shortcake characters and share a bit of their personality and who they are in the TV show. Strawberry Shortcake has been around since the 1970s, and the first toy manufactured was in 1979. The Strawberry Shortcake characters was supposed to resemble a rag doll or like a Cabbage Patch Kids with freckles, a mop like as hair, and a bonnet with cute fruity designs on top. Since then, I believe there has been six different designs or six different art styles of Strawberry Shortcake in the characters, like making them look different and stuff. And to be completely honest and transparent, I really, really like the old designs of Strawberry Shortcake, hence the reason why I'm kind of hinging on that side of the fandom or the art style because I really love how they look when they're like older. I think that version and the 2016 version is my favorite. Oh my Wait, goodness, no, I was way off. The 2009 version. <laughs> so the original Strawberry Shortcake version with the 1970s, 1980s, the 2003 and 2009, I feel like are the most classic to me. Although growing up, I only really watched the 2009 version, but my younger sister is getting into the 2003 version, and I just love the very original version of Strawberry Shortcake. By the way, I'm getting all my information from Fandom Wiki, so <laughs> if you guys watch the series and know a little bit more than I do, then you guys can correct me or whatever but here's the finished illustration of lemon meringue i really want to share some information about the specific characters so i guess i'll just tell you some things about lemon meringue herself according to fandom wiki lemon meringue's first appearance was in the second episode of the 1980 series strawberry shortcake in big apple city she was perceived i guess as a sweet heartful character but she can have a little bit of an attitude and like sassy she is kind and caring to her friends and always tries to work hard so that she can make others happy they say she's the one to know a bit of gossip and knows what's up with like the i guess the neighborhood and the very apple city place so basically she'll be the one to let you in and all the tea about the neighborhood i guess and what's going on but she usually stays clear from potentially hurting other people's feelings, especially her friends. I'm sure her personality changes slightly between each season or each reboot of the Strawberry Shortcake friend group, but I drew her original pet, which his name is Frappe. I think he's really cute, he's a frog, and yeah. Every time I look at the original Strawberry Shortcake characters, I just want them as dolls. Like, I want the drawings to look exactly like the dolls. And you know what's funny is that I actually heard somebody say that the original Strawberry Shortcake characters looked scary to them because they looked like rag dolls or like Cabbage Patch Kids. I do agree with that, but I don't agree that they look scary. I think they look absolutely adorable, and I would absolutely love to have a Strawberry Shortcake doll with yarn as hair and a bonnet. Yes, please. Bring the dolls back! Bring the dolls back! Okay, now let's talk about Blueberry Muffin. First, I'll talk about my process of me creating her, and then I'll talk about her personality and who she is and the character design and all that stuff. So, when creating this second drawing, it I feel like it went by smoother because I was, like, like I said, watching a lot of YouTube videos, trying to get a lot of information on how to make skin tones and stuff. And I'm very, very content with the way how Blueberry Muffin skin tone looks. I feel like drawing lighter skin tones is easier than drawing darker skin tones when it comes to watercolor. At least for me, as of right now, as a very, very beginner, because... I guess the lighter you are and the more you get to use the white of the paper and then kind of just like shade the white of the paper, you know what I mean? So I really, really love the way how Blueberry Muffin's skin tones look, skin tone looks, and I'm really content with it. I think she's going to be my favorite character I colored in so far. A minor setback though with drawing 
blueberry muffin is that I have to keep remembering whenever you use watercolor, you have to wait because if you don't, your paper's gonna ball up. And that is exactly what happened to me when creating her and coloring her in. I used watercolor to color her neck as you guys just saw and I erased it because I saw some pencil marks on it that I didn't want while it was still wet. So I kind of messed it up. I had a moment where I just like wanted to cry and give up, <clears throat> but I didn't. And, <laughs> and I kept going, you know, you can't cry over spilled milk. So there's nothing I can do about it. Just try to move on. And yeah, I had to work the hardest when creating her. I really let my creative juices flow. I don't know, her design just felt really hard to me. And besides, when I first created her, I kind of got her and Ginger Snap mixed up. I don't know why. I think I just thought Ginger Snap was Blueberry Muffin, but like, they were the same character, just they like updated her because, you know, like, Compared to the original designs to the updated versions, they look completely different. So I got them mixed up and I kind of made her resemble Ginger Snap. Don't ask me how I got them mixed up, please. I don't even know myself. Because if I look up Ginger Snap's personality versus Blueberry Muffin's personality, it's kind of opposites. Ginger Snap is like loud, bubbly, have fun, all this stuff. And Blueberry Muffin is like the mature one, the one that thinks everything through, the quiet one, like the kind of leader of the group type situation. And the post that I have her in is like more fun and maybe like bubbly and stuff i mean she's in a dress and she's like squatting down so i don't know maybe she's just like that with her best friends or that's just something i added to her character either way i really like it like i said i think she's gonna be my favorite character that i've colored in and drew it's also feeding my slight love for blue more and more because i'm really starting to fall in love with it but here is the finished illustration of Blueberry Muffin. I love her so much. I think she's adorable. I drew her little pet friend and his name is Cheesecake. I believe, I don't know if it was a girl at first, but it's a boy in this version, I guess. And he's a little darker. Anyway, and she loves books. Preparing for the original classic and iconic orange blossom. Of course, I had to erase my sketch, start brand new, because once you put watercolor on your sketch, it seals it in and you can't erase it, even if the watercolor is dry. So I wanted to make sure I really got, I really erased it. Though that might bite me in the butt later on. Is this foreshadowing to the future? Yes, it is. Like I previously stated, drawing darker skin as of right now for me is a little harder, at least for this one, because it's my first dark skin girl drawing that I did with watercolor. So it was really tricky and kind of hard for me. But trust, it gets better and I will get better at it. I was just trying to find different skin tones like light brown. Dark brown, warm brown, cool brown. There's so many different skin tones of like brown skin. And it was hard making those because I have to make it from scratch because I don't have skin tone watercolor. So that was a tricky part. And then the hair just blended right in with the skin and has to have some contrast and to be completely honest i could have just used black for her hair because her hair is supposed to be like a brownish black color but using black in paintings and like art i hear is really harsh and you're not really supposed to use it so for this illustration i really leaned on colored pencils more in the beginning of my drawings instead of using it to outline everything like i did with blueberry because when i painted her i did the whole painting then i used the colored pencils but for <laughs> orange blossom i'm having to paint a little bit use colored pencils paint a little bit use colored pencils it's just easier for me to help guide me through the drawings so I don't lose her facial features and certain key things about Orange Blossom. And in the end, I feel like it worked out because I really like this illustration. Now let's talk about who Orange Blossom is. Orange Blossom is a pretty popular character in the Strawberry Shortcake fandom community. Orange Blossom is a painter and a friend of the Strawberry Shortcake Girl group. Of course. She's the main character who appears in all generations of the Strawberry Shortcake franchise, and she's the best friend of Strawberry herself. In the beginning of Strawberry Shortcake, Orange Blossom was actually the first character introduced to Strawberry, other than the villain of the show. For those who have known and for those who have seen like shorts and stuff of people drawing strawberry shortcake it's a classic instance when orange asks strawberry to move out the way because she's trying to paint a painting and she says that she's like a famous painter or asks her if she's a famous painter it's really sweet and it's kind of really iconic so 
you guys should just go watch it. Orange also introduces Strawberry to Lemon Meringue and all the other characters. And she seemed to be a humble friend who cares deeply about taking care of our planet and a sweet girl who loves to paint. She believes if others are happy, then she'll be happy too. And she's never usually the one to cause a disagreement or cause riffraff between the friend group. She's shy sometimes and she doesn't always stand up for herself as much as she's willing to stand up for her friends. So she's very selfless. <laughs> Actually, in the later series, Ginger Snap, which is a character I didn't get to draw in today's video, tries to talk for her and tries to figure out what she's thinking, kind of like helping her through her process of speaking up for herself and like that whole thing, which I think is really sweet. I don't know if Orange Blossom has an official pet. I don't think she does, but that butterfly that she's seen with like all the time, I drew beside her. I kind of struggled with that, to be honest, like the whole thing. I made her a girl. I don't know if it was a girl before. I don't, I don't really know, but I made it a female, a female butterfly. And I think it's really cute. I really like the way how this illustration turned out. At first, I didn't really know if I would like it at the end because it was a bit of a rocky start. But here's Orange Blossom and I hope you guys like her. As you can see, I've already started my other two paintings, Plum Pudding and Strawberry Shortcake. I keep forgetting about Plum for some reason, but right now I'm painting Strawberry. And when designing her, I wanted to go with a slight change in her design. There's an airplane flying above my house. So I made her top look like a bit sheer, like translucent. And I had her with a camisole underneath. I also added a bow to the back of like her dress, shirt, type situation but that was a decision I made like later on. I'm really liking the way how this illustration is being pulled together. It took me so long to make this because it's just something I never really did before like in my sketchbook or like an art piece I've made like this. So it took me a really long time and of course you guys know it's taking me an even longer time to get this video out. But I'm really happy with the way how it's looking. And of course, you guys know Strawberry Shortcake, the main character of Strawberry Shortcake. But for those who don't know, Strawberry is a talented and skilled baker who loves to make pastries and enter in baking competitions. She does have some enemies, but <laughs> who doesn't? <laughs> anyway, she goes by the name, I don't know how to pronounce it, Porcupine Peak. Not porcupine, porcupine. He is a rival of hers in the earlier shows. You know, the villain of the show, always trying to ruin the fun for everybody else sort of thing. And last but not least, before I move on to my drawing, the last drawing, is Plum Pudding, the forgotten character. I'm so sorry. I've been doing her dirty throughout this whole video. You guys give a like. Give a like equals one love for Plum Pudding. Give her some love. I really did enjoy painting her and stuff, I, although I did paint her off camera just because I just didn't paint her on camera. Plum Pudding actually has a big background story, kind of. So in the earlier seasons, I guess she wasn't always a female. She was like a male at first, or the character was a male, and throughout the series, they made it into female, I guess, to fit in with the rest of the girl group. To be honest, I feel like this character was just an add-in character because um, it's just not really developed. So throughout the creation, I guess, of Plum Pudding from the very beginning to where it is now has always been inconsistent. Like I said, I know they changed the character designs of the character, but hers has just been very inconsistent. But anyway, I drew her and I really like her. I think she's cute. I love her glasses and everything. And yeah. And to be honest, in the 2009 version of Strawberry Shortcake, Plum Pudding was actually my favorite character. So, I don't know. I, I like her either way. And yeah. Lastly, I have me. So, <laughs> for the majority of me talking about these two other characters, I have been painting myself. So I wanted to draw myself if I was a Strawberry Shortcake character. This is just something quick. I do want to actually sit down and think about the design I want for her. So yeah, this was just something quick. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that video if you guys want to. I don't know if I'll be able to make it anytime soon, but here is it before and here is it after my finished illustration. Oh my goodness. Drawing this took forever, but I really, really like it. I wish I can kind of like print it off and have it as a print. I have to look into doing that, but here's finished illustration. Here's a finished illustration. I hope you guys like it. I love it so much. And 
yeah i'll see you guys in the outro I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and comment down something in the comments. We have a fantastic, perfect, strawberry shortcake, fantastic, very amazing day. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye.